All right, so here we've got a classic question that they love to ask on test, which is which numbers are irrational? And here are our choices down here. I'm going to start with the one at the bottom. This number is not the number pi. Don't be confused there. Don't let them get you. This is a decimal representation of possibly the number pi. It's 3.1415926 and then so forth, but pi keeps going. This decimal ends right here, right at the 6. So it terminates. This is a terminating decimal. And a terminating decimal is not irrational. So we keep going. And now we get to 21 and 0.3 repeating, which is really 21 and 1 third, right? Because 1 third is 0.3 repeating. Now this decimal doesn't end, right? The threes go on forever. But this is a decimal with the repeating pattern. So if you have a decimal with a repeating pattern, in other words, a pattern that somehow repeats in chunks, right? And it could be something as simple as this, which is three is repeating over and over again. Or it could be something more complicated, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. As long as the pattern is a repeating cycle, then it's rational. So a decimal with a repeating pattern is rational as well. It's not irrational. Here we have the square root of 16, which is 4, and that's a number, right? The number 4 is a whole number, and whole numbers are rational. So this is not irrational. So here the answer must be the square root of 8. What is the square root of 8? Well, you might rush and think it's 4, but <coughs> remember the square root of 8 is a number multiplied by itself that equals 8. So it's between 2, because 2 times 2 is 4, and 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. It's a decimal between those two, but that decimal is irrational. In other words, it can never be written as a simple fraction. A simple fraction is just one rational number, right, over another. And all the other choices can be written as simple fractions, right, even... Well, here, 4 can be written as, that's a rational number. It can be written as 4 over 1. It can be written as 8 over 2, and so forth. 21 and 1 third, that's a mixed number. That is a simple fraction. We can even combine these, right? This is like 3 times 21, which is 63, right? Plus 1, 64 over 3. So we can write that as a simple fraction if we want to. And one rational number over another. And you can think of rational numbers... Um, in parts here as, as fractions, as, um, as whole numbers, as negative numbers, and even this number can be written as a fraction, although I, I ran out of room here, so I'm not going to do it, but you could think of it as 3, or maybe I could fit it, and then 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, 2, 6, over, and then the numbers could be over, is going to be a 1 with as many zeros as there are digits here. So there are seven digits, and that means seven zeros. Three, four, five, six, seven. That would be that fraction. And then you can even simplify further, multiply this number, which is about, it's about 10 millionth times three. So 30 million plus this number up here, over 10 million, and that's your fraction, but I'm not going to do that. Um, just the point is you can write it as a fraction if the decimal terminates at some point. You could write it as a fraction if the decimal repeats with some pattern. And you could write any whole number as a fraction. So the only irrational number here is the square root. And that's always going to happen. If you're taking the square root of a whole number like 8, and you find that the result is between two whole numbers, like between 2 and 3, then it is going to be irrational. All right, hope that helped.